Russia has been spreading the language of hatred against the neighboring states for a long time. Ukrainians are at the top of the list of the enemies of Russians. The propaganda of war and hatred towards Ukraine has been spread in Russia since the kindergarten age. Is it good that President Putin started the war against Ukraine? Why do you think so? So, uh, the, well, you know the whole story with the brainwashing uh, in uh, Donbass. It started a long time ago, and uh, some people say that it started in uh, 2014, mm -hmm. but uh, it's not like that. It started um, maybe in the beginning of the 90s actively, and unfortunately, the... <laughs> so-called standards which the uh, Russian Federation has considering the society and uh, the uh, social problems uh, that they uh, have in their country. Unfortunately, they spread also in, uh, in Donbass and uh, we could see the consequences of uh, the total ignorance towards the human life and uh, the conditions of life, and uh, you could see that already. This kind of propaganda is already familiar to us. The Soviet Union has long promoted language of hatred towards the imperialist West, playing on the fears and complexes of the Soviet citizens, the fear of hunger and a lack of means for survival as a whole. Countless times the bad West was portrayed as the enemy, because of which the people of USSR cannot live like they should. In the modern Russian Federation, the propaganda does not try to change the perception of reality by Russians. It creates an entirely separate reality, out of touch with the rest of the world. Это значит, руководство немецкого народа такое. Это значит, что немецкий народ снова взяли в тиски фашисты. Культурная трансформация Европы идет давно, и у нее, конечно же, есть бытовое измерение. Людей просят реже стирать, меньше пользоваться бытовой техникой, меньше мыться, ограничить температуру в помещении, дома и на работе. А сейчас еще и советуют питаться насекомыми. Which is even worse, the propaganda has reached out to children. A Russian pseudoscientist and propagandist has even written a textbook in history of Ukraine for the temporary occupied territories of Donbass, where the reality is, to put mildly, alternates with the rest of the world. It's not a secret for anyone that many years of efforts of Ukrainian national radicals and their Western curators have created and continue to create a huge number of historical myths and falsifications, False interpretations of history lead to the formation in the public mind of the erroneous idea that Ukraine developed separately from Russia. The goal is clear, through the denial of the unity of Ukrainians and Russians to quarrel the two fraternal peoples to demonize modern Russia as a successor state of the USSR. From the textbook History of Ukraine by the Russian propagandist Maxim Grigoryev. Rewriting history, cultivating nostalgia for the USSR, generating the personality cult of the dictator. This all is very dangerous not only for Ukraine, but for the entire civilized world, as we can see on the example of North Korea, where people live in a different reality only with one goal – to defeat the rest of the world as a result of the war. Reported by Pavel Stermach, UATV News.